Hey guys, what's going on? Going to get a haircut right now, then gonna head to Steve Carell's general store, which is a few towns over. I'm gonna show you guys that, and then I'm gonna head to the mall. Uh, very due for a haircut. Minions, like, you want a nice coffee, bro? Yeah. All right, I think it's time to clean up the trash on my floor. That's just getting bad. Hey guys, what's going on? It's you, Auntie. One new pickup today. As you can see, the entire upper is black. The inside has two Splenda. Rate, comment, subscribe. All right, guys, so I got my hair cut. I got it really short on the sides, especially on this side. Just trying to really keep it, uh, trim it up nice and tight for the summer. So right now, I'm driving to a general store that Steve Carell owns about three towns over from me. He uh, lives in on the South Shore when he's not in LA, uh, in Massachusetts where I live. There's this general store that's about 150 years old. And in 2009, him and his wife bought it because it was gonna go out of business. And it's a real, just like authentic, like general store that's candy, like old fashioned toys and things like that. So I figured he came and shopped in my store. I'm gonna go return the favor and uh, you know shop in his store. So I'm excited to check that out. And what's really cool is, you know, Steve Carell said he bought the store just because he's like, I'm not going to make any money in it, but he just hates to see, you know, things disappearing like a general store where everyone knows you and you can go in and it's just like, a, you know, a, a mom and pop shop and with all these big box stores and chain stores, you don't see, you know, these little mom and pop shops anymore. As you can see, the neighborhood around here is all like really, you know, wooded and uh, there's a beach not too far, so it's really nice. All right guys, just arrived uh, to the general store now, so I'm gonna, uh, gonna head in there. guys so here's the general store really nice really nice definitely has an authentic feel to it I uh, picked up a Steve Carell or Michael Scott bobblehead so I'll show you guys a review on that uh, a little later really cool though so there it is Marshfield Hills established 1969 then again in 2009 and there it is Michael Scott the office bobblehead I have the Dwight one I've had that one for like Jesus, probably like eight, nine years now, but I figured, why? how could I not get this? All right, guys, heading to the mall now. Uh, probably gonna, I wanna try on a couple pair of Roshi runs, so I'll try on a few Roshis, and then probably grab some food, check out a few other stores as well. All right, guys, at the mall now. Let me show you what's on feet real quick. I got um, uh, New Balance 574 Yacht Clubs. So, I uh, got heading into the mall now. Had to make a quick uh, subway run. Back home now. It is really, really hot out. Uh, Foot Locker, I saw 11 Lows, Playoff 8s, Roshis, they were all out of smaller sizes, so didn't cop anything. But yeah, and I'll show you guys. I was in uh, the Boston Globe here. I'll show you uh, right, right there. Picture of me and Steve Carell. David Ortiz, Giselle Bunchen, so yeah, you know, just chilling with a few few stars. There I am. I did actually pick up Jordan Playoff 8s for my man Matt, aka All Things Philly 93. Uh, size 12 was sitting on shelves, so uh, I picked these up for him. I'm going to send those out. And then, of course, my Michael Scott bobblehead. 
Gonna break this open now. So yeah, probably just gonna go head to the gym now. May even go lay outside. So nice. Gonna just go enjoy this uh, beautiful weather. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Take care. Peace.